Oh, you call it, you call it. Here he goes! Sorry. <laughs> yeah. So we give them a reason, come and catch us. But don't hold your breath, got tunnel vision. I didn't listen, but the jokes are all on them. <laughs> and we're gone. Run away, run away, run away. Got a blue bird on my shoulder. Get away, get away, get away. That Cali cool, I told ya. Run away, run away, run away. The wind's in our head. Ready to go. Already there. So here we are with Jake Kenslick, right? Kenslick. Kenslick. It's our first day, he just got here today, so. Let's see it. I'll believe it when I see it. All right, man. Is there anything I can do to help you? Just give me a launch. Okay. So I'll just quickly show you how to do that. Any way I can screw this up? Definitely. Okay. So let's not do that. It's very simple. So pretty much all I need you to do, hold the kite. Just hold it up like this. I'm really good at that. Yeah, we're going to hold it right here. So one hand here, one hand in the back. Okay. And you're going to wait until I give you a thumbs up. And all you're going to do is let go. Just let go? Yeah. Go. So think about the times we won All through the hills and the back roads Lost in time and found late at night so Hey guys, what's going on right now? Right now we're setting up a little kite mount to get some kite vision going Which is always cool This is the mount you bought? Yeah it's a camera mount, which is a pretty sweet mount to have if you're a kiteboarder. So, yeah, setting it up. And we're here shooting on GoPro 3 Pluses for anyone that's watching. We put a GoPro on them. Is that on it? We lost the other ones. What do you mean? When we shot the tractor one, when all the ones on the helmet fell off. Well, that was violent. Run away, run away, run away. Got a blue bird on my shoulder. Get away, get away, get away. That Cali cool, I told ya. Run away, run away, run away. The wind's in our head. You ready to go? Well, already there. Woo! Oh, I smell something in the air. Oh, did it hurt? Close, man. And as I went for it, the wind was out. It's the problem with the uh, rolling windows at the top of the yeah. top of the building like this. My name's Annabelle. Found West Drop, and this is my home. <laughs> and word on the street is you're ranked third in the world. Yes, I am. It's How does crazy. one become ranked third in the world? Oh, I don't know. It's crazy. Lots of training. It was my first year. Way better than any expectations. <laughs> so everyone that's watching, you're gonna see the woman's best third in the world. Yes. High border. So let's see it. Prove it. Yeah. Is that Toby? This guy is the Toby. Toby. The Toby, right yeah. there in the flesh. Where are you from, Toby? I'm from Germany. So yeah. what are you doing out here in Aruba? Uh, checking out the spot. Is it a good spot? It's a good spot. Yeah. So you've been kiteboarding here for how long now in Aruba? Ten days. Okay. So now they're doing their yoga stretches. <laughs> Kiteboarding here in Aruba. Ah, it's great. It's good wind like every day. I've been riding my 9 and my 12 most of the time, which is pretty good. My favorite sizes, and yeah, tons of different spots around. Tell me a little bit about the gear kiteboarding. The gear is a kite which is needs a bar, like a control bar, like that thing, what I'm having here. And then you have a board, you need a harness, obviously, and then you're good to go. Uh, what was your favorite part about the trip? Favorite part, man, the whole trip has been pretty much one favorite part. But meeting the flamingos was really cool, filming kiting was awesome. Kiting can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. So if you're just starting out, don't just go and buy a kite and give it a go. Definitely get some lessons for the beginning stage because it's really all about mastering the kite. And then if people want to find out more about your work, where do we go? You can go to facebook.com slash jkelsic, Instagram at jkelsic, all that stuff is just at jkelsic. Hi, so I'm David Ursel. I'm a kiteboarder from Frinton-on-Sea. It's a small town in Essex in the UK. 
Um, we started kiteboarding the first day on a beautiful beach. We've got trade winds coming through, which are amazing. If you if you got the chance to come to Aruba, it's beautiful here. The cleanest waters I've seen. Great winds, and uh, yeah, it's a really nice atmosphere as well. We've had five days here, and the locals have been awesome. So talk about the difference between landboarding and surfboarding. We're way more hardcore. <laughs> Basically, in a nutshell. No, it's a, it's a very similar sport and very similar kites. It was great fun working with the Super Tramp team. I mean, it's like a little family we've got here and coming in is so welcoming. And we really are having a lot of fun while doing these doing these shoots. It's, yeah, it's a great experience. Uh, past couple of days we've been filming like crazy. We've had awesome wind on my, you know, this is the perfect place to be to film. Blue water, good wind, sandy beaches. So it's been great. Oh, my name is Jonathan. I work for the Aruba Tourism Authority. You can visit our website on www.aruba.com. On, on our website you can find um, basically all the information that you need in regards to uh, your visit to Aruba. And also on our Facebook. Aruba, where the sun always shines, the wind always blows, and friendliness is a way of life. That's it. Tell me that this ain't the real thing. I'm already there. You can't fake this feeling. I'm already there. Oh, man. Thanks, brother. You guys are leaving. I'm sad. See, this is what it's all about making friends. And there you have it. reason. Come and catch us. But don't hold your breath. I've got tunnel vision. I didn't listen. But the jokes are all on them. <laughs> and we're gone.